All right, guys, look. There is only one thing that you need to be successful in life. This could be financial success, it could be with relationships, it can be any type of success that your mind can dream up, okay? And what that thing is, it's a skill. And that skill is emotional intelligence. So before we get into how that's going to alter your life and literally get you anything you want, let's talk about what exactly emotional intelligence is. It is the ability to recognize to manage and to understand not only our own emotions, but also the emotions of everyone else around us. It involves major self-awareness. It involves self-regulation and social skills. Now, some people are definitely born with a higher emotional intelligence, but it can be a learned skill. You know, it's something that we can develop, it's something that we can work on, and it's something that we can improve over time. If you develop your emotional intelligence skills, you will be a more effective communicator, you will have much higher quality relationships, no matter if it's a romantic partner, friends, family, work people, whoever. And you will be much better at managing stress managing conflict, and what comes with all of those is a grander and a more peaceful life. If you don't have emotional intelligence, you're probably not very good at regulating your own emotions. This can look like crying a lot or getting easily stressed, easily overwhelmed, freaking out, getting angry, getting frustrated, and not only having those feelings frequently, but the lack of being able to bounce back quickly from them, right? Like we all feel those types of emotions from time to time, like I certainly do, right? But the more you develop your emotional intelligence, the quicker it is that you can bounce back from it because what you're doing is again, self-regulating those emotions. Like I'll be honest with you guys, there's a lot of things that can contribute to burnout and stress and unhappiness, but this is the one skill if I could put my money on it, this is the one skill that you could learn that will transform it to the highest degree. You know, if you don't have emotional intelligence, you probably have trouble connecting with other people, right? Like you don't really understand them. You can't really get that deep connection with them. A lot of people that lack emotional intelligence don't understand social cues. And that is very obvious to the people who do and who can. You know, and sometimes it can even be the opposite, right? Where instead of like freaking out or crying or yelling or, or lashing out, if you lack emotional intelligence, you could shut down, right? Because you're not able to effectively communicate what's going on in your mind with another person and resolve that conflict. Okay, so it's a, it's a full circle thing here. It's kind of like, I don't know, I'm not like a big video game person, but if you're playing a video game or board game, whatever, and you don't have instructions or the knowledge of how to play the game, right? Like you might make it through, okay? But it's gonna be a bumpy ride and it's going to be much more difficult beating the game or getting through the game, okay? So it's the same thing where if you can harness and learn and develop emotional intelligence, it will be a much easier, smoother, and enjoyable ride. All right, so, so how do we develop this emotional intelligence? How do we practice having it? Okay, number one, I want you to practice self-awareness. Okay, what does that mean? Monitor your emotions. When you're feeling happy, when you're feeling angry, stressed, frustrated, whatever it may be, Reflect on those emotions within yourself and how they are making you act. How are they making you feel? How long does it take you to get out of that mood? Okay, and this is gonna take practice in itself, but it does get easier the more that you do it. Okay, and once we're aware of kind of what our emotions are doing and how they're affecting us and making us act, next we wanna move into regulating. Whoa, my earring fell off. <laughs> Um, hold on. Next, we want to we want to move into like regulating our emotions, right? So, what does that mean? So, say you know something happens at home or at work, and someone pisses you off, right? And you're pissed, and you're angry, and you feel yourself like like the heat is rising in your face, and you feel yourself about to explode. 
I want you to bring that self-awareness in that we talked about in step number one. And I want you to work through it and respond in a more diplomatical manner, okay? We wanna pull our emotions together, breathe, and work to become rational in that specific situation. Here's an easy example, right? So I've talked about it before, like I used to get crazy road rage, like crazy road rage. And I decided that, hey, my life would be a lot better if mm, I didn't have road rage, right? But it was something so ingrained in me for like more than a decade that what happened was, was every time, you know, someone cut me off or someone this or whatever, when I was driving, I would feel that flare up of like getting angry. And then I would stop myself, bring that awareness in and say, hey, is this really worth me getting upset? And is this person that I don't know that I'm never gonna see again, that just cuts me off or does whatever. Am I gonna allow that person to dictate my mood? Like, am I really going to give my power away to some jackass on the road that I don't even know? Okay, and so you wanna kind of bring that attitude into this self-regulation phase. So next we want to develop empathy. Empathy is different from sympathy. <laughs> Why is it so hard to say? Empathy is different from sympathy, <laughs> okay? Because empathy allows you to actually step into the shoes of another person, okay? And try to understand where they're coming from so that you can try to better understand it from their point of view. And when we learn to do that, when we practice empathy, it allows us to communicate better, but also understand and connect with people on a, on a deeper level, right? And when that happens, when we connect better with people, and we understand them on a deeper empathetic level, it will open so many doors for you, okay? I promise. Next, we want to improve your communication skills, all right? Communication is, it's something that, it's funny because like we're taught it in school, right? But like, are we really? Like we're not. The biggest tip I wanna give you with, with communication, okay? It's not actually you doing the communicating. I believe the biggest way to improve your communication with others is to actually be a better active listener. What is an active listener? It is when you are so focused, so in the moment, so present, okay, with the person that you are speaking with and that you are listening not to respond, okay? You're listening to understand what they're saying. When you are listening to understand rather than respond, you are going to have much more open dialect, much more understanding, and you're going to come to a resolution much quicker than if both of you are standing there listening to respond. If you are listening to respond, you might as well not even be having the conversation with the other person. It's pointless, okay? So active listening, be present, put your phone away, put the distractions away, stop looking around everywhere else, all right? When someone is talking to you, especially if they are talking to you about something important, pay attention and understand and empathize and listen to where they're coming from, even if you don't agree, all right? That's the key here. Let's talk about politics, right? So the majority of people, at least if you're in the US, feel very strongly about one side or the other, right? And I'll tell you what, where I live in this household, there's four of us, we all have different views. We never argue about them. Do you know why? It's because we are so understanding, we actively listen, and we take into consideration what the other person is saying and their background and where they're coming from. And we're not jumping to respond or to argue whatever their point is. We're listening to understand, not to rebuttal, not to argue. And that creates a much more connecting and calm and, and close relationship with those people. You know, guys, I, I haven't really done a lot of videos on communication and relationships, which is funny because I actually have a degree in that. So if you enjoyed this video and want more video topics like this on improving your life and improving emotional intelligence, I'm so passionate about emotional intelligence. I truly believe if the entire world would work on that one skill, it would be incredible, okay? 
So let me know in the comments like if this is something you want more of on this channel and I will certainly deliver because I love you guys and I'm just here to help you have a better life, right? We just wanna be, ha we just wanna be happy over here, all right? Sarah world, we just wanna be happy. We wanna be giggly, we wanna be lovey, all right? With a little bit of realistic, you know, expectations. So if you found value in this video, I would highly appreciate if you guys could give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already because I put out videos like this every single week. I love you guys so much and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.